is part 27 of our Link's Awakening commentary. And in this part, we're going to be uh, finally making our way to uh, the Eagle's Tower. Which yes, is, my favorite part area uh, of the whole game. Like, I love Tau Tau, right? Tau Tau Heights. Yeah. I love Tau Tau Heights, which is finally making our way up to, to the top right yep. of the map. And we've kind of always been, like, since, like, Turtle Rock. Oh, and yeah. The past, like, always kind of get up to that top right part of a mountain if that part is there in a game yep. it's just always been something special it feels like you're at the end of the world kind of yeah. when you're up there you see like a big chunk of the map and everything or you get to, or not the big chunk of the map but uh -huh. it's like the big background and everything yeah, you get uh -huh. up there both at turtle rock and link to the link to, link to the past hey it's okay i said hole in the cave wall last <laughs> last commentary at the very end so yeah we, we, we struggle every now and then but uh and then you got to think like the ice ruins was such a fun area in link between oh the yes it was man just like i mountain. do like this game better because like Whereas in Link to the Past, you kind of see, like, down. Yeah. This one, you kind of see, like, into the ocean. Like, oh, out, beautiful like out view. into the ocean. It's, it's amazing. It's awesome. Yeah. And like we like you said, we love this whole Tau Tau Heights area. Uh -huh. Both, like, the Eagle's Tower, later on going to Turtle yeah, Rock. Yeah, the music. I like the music of it. Yeah. The waterfalls. I, I just, I randomly really like waterfalls. Yeah. So just, this area right here is just beautiful, even though it's, like... Eight bits yeah. or whatever it is. <laughs> hey, just don't fall down those waterfalls. We're camouflaged in the water yeah. right now. Nobody can see us. <laughs> all those, if you fall down those waterfalls, though, it does take you all the way back Ugh. to the bottom of Tau Tau Heights, and you have to work your way back up. Not that we're that far, yeah. but it is a pain. It is a pain. You kinda, there's only like really one way to get this mountain. You kind of yeah. got to go over to the left, yeah. and you kind of go back over to the right to get in here. Now... I kind of got a little confused here. I kind of got a little confused <laughs> here. One, I tried to poke that wall there, saying, "Go see if I could bomb it." L yeah. A little later on, there's a wall we can bomb. Yeah. And then I realized uh, that might be a dead end. I thought maybe you, I thought maybe you were just showing the key. Like I actually thought you were going to go somewhere else. No. You were just kind of saying, "Hey, the key's right here," and then like, "No, you went there right away." Yeah. So. Yeah, sure. That's exactly what I was planning. <laughs> Just go watch somebody else's walkthrough. We're done. Yeah. No, that, that was, <laughs> this was uh, awful. <laughs> I got a little turned around in here. But yeah, like we could kind of get to this area earlier, like as long as you had the Pegasus Yeah, I knew, Yep, you but can. But this is the first time you could finally get to the key because it's the only way to cross that huge I remember. Camp. I remember like I, when I was first playing this game, I wasn't like, you know, I tried not to look at any hints or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. I got to that part exploring one time. I was just like, oh, what in the world? <laughs> How do you even cross this thing? Yeah. And it's, it's pretty cool, like, that, uh, again, the way they use items and things like that to, to, to like, segregate parts of the game. Yeah. It, it, like, uh -huh. Or to block off progress. It's yeah. just a neat concept. I love the rooster and how it's used in this game. Like, I mean, you obviously don't use him very long. We'll be no. done with him when, by the time we get to Eagle's Tower. But yeah. I did really like how they used it in this game. I was just happy to have another... Uh, I guess you call it a companion that actually helps you out. Because remember all the way back near the beginning, we had a... Uh, well, you're not escorting him, so you sure. like that. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you were escorting him, like, you would hate this part of the game. Oh, yes, I would. <laughs> all the way back earlier on, we had uh, uh, the, the, the Bow Wow, the Chomp guy. No. He uh -huh. helped us out. He yeah. was awesome. Mm -hmm. Then we had the stupid ghost who just sucked in every way. But I mean, I agree with you. Like, I hate escort missions when we have to carry and, like, guide people. Yeah. But yeah, it's nice when we have somebody with us that's actually help us. And just, I know you mentioned, but how about the ocean in the background? Oh, that just looks amazing, It man. really does. It's just like, like you said with A Link to the Past, when you see like the woods and forests yeah, back uh -huh. there, now you get to view that ocean and it just, it does yeah. look great. And man, I tell you what, we're about to get a heart piece right here. This heart piece was one of the most <laughs> infuriating, like you know those heart pieces in like Zelda games that you see like at the very beginning of the game, yep, yep. and you never figure out how to get it? This that is, is that's that heart piece right there. Like, so we go up here pretty early, like I guess English Tunnel. Yeah. Or probably even earlier if you're wondering. And I just remember seeing that heart piece and I was like, I, I could never figure out how to get it. No, it, it is amazing how early we see it and then how long yeah. it really does take us to get there. It's absurd. Well, I actually played this Zelda game kind of later, but this like this kind of introduced the whole like, okay, there's a little dent in a wall. You can place a bomb here. Yeah. Okay, there's a platform. You can place a bomb here. Like, I never really use it that much until this game. Well, you're oh, supposed to goodness. use it in this game. And yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> and I kind of learned my lesson after this game. Yeah, you learned. You learn. That's, That's what all the secrets thing. are. <laughs> but it's 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 such a cool trick if you know where to bomb that stuff. But it can yeah. be so, and I'm glad like the walls will make the sound when you hit them. But yeah. if you don't know where to hit, like I, I said, mean, I don't use that skill as much as I probably should. Yeah. In Zelda games. I mean, I thought I was going down that waterfall and I just like to place a whole row of bombs and see if I can get lucky. <laughs> hey, it works. It works. Sometimes. Some, sometimes. Like, like that platform, like right there, like when I was playing this game, like I don't know if it's just the games I played before, but I yeah. just never thought about bombing those places. I think the only reason I did is because I knew I, I looked. I just thought the same. <laughs> I just thought the same was raised a little bit. Yeah, until, it, like you know, like it, Hawaii it, or something. It's like <laughs> a, 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 like a, an island that came out of the water. It's funny, it's always little places like that that uh that you know there's probably something. Anytime yeah. there's something just a yeah. little bit different. Yeah, I know it now. Yeah, which I know. That happens with me a lot in Zelda games. I know it now. Yeah. I wish I had known it at the time. Yeah. 
Now here we're going to get yet another one of those treasure chests that is normally a secret uh, seashell, a secret seashell mm -hmm. but it's just uh, 20 rupees since we already have the sword. A good location for a secret seashell. It really. really is. And another thing, like this room, you saw I didn't touch any of the treasure chests the first time through and mm -hmm. just left. Whenever you, if you open one treasure chest and then leave this room, they all end up empty. So what you have to do? Oh you, really? Okay. Yeah. So you can't get all of them if you just come in from the north entrance or the top uh -huh. entrance because you can't get all the rocks out of the way. Mm -hmm. So you have to go out the south entrance and come back in to actually access all the treasure chests. It's a neat little puzzle. It learn, is. learn the hard way the first Folks, time. Folks, I'm learning from Red right now too. Yep. Hey, I didn't know any of that. I'm right here there. to educate. Well, like, I, like when I was watching it, like I know she went down, so mm -hmm. I was like, well, there. I thought it was just more like the way the blocks were positioned. Yeah. I thought maybe you can only do get all of them from the bottom, the way the blocks were positioned. But then you tell me that they go. Away if you it's open weird. one or whatever. Yeah, it's like if you open, however many you open, the, the I think you can get four if you come from the top. So that you can get the, most of them. That was the developer of Zelda 2 right there, playing a little touch, yeah. on the, <laughs> <laughs> a little touch on the game right there. Just to be an a-hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I like how this eagle's, this, uh, this, the owl statue says, uh, uh -huh. beware of the bird. Obviously, an eagle's tower, we should be working. Yeah, yeah, bird. yeah, uh -huh, definitely. <laughs> Not the wisest advice. I actually, I won't say right here, because like we're doing a walkthrough, and maybe somebody didn't play this game all the way through, but I had no clue what that meant when I first read it, and I was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, duh. You're probably thinking, beware of the bird that's following you right now? I thought there'd be like a bird that like came down the mountain and was like trying to you oh, know, hurt that you somehow. Cool. That's what I thought it meant when I first read it. I won't lie, the first time I think I played this and it said beware the bird, I had flashbacks to where uh, in Link to the Past where you're escorting that girl through the dungeon and she turns into a boss on Oh, her. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I kinda Blind thought, the thief or whatever? Blind the thief. Yeah. I was kind of worried this rooster was going to turn into an <laughs> enemy on me. That's a really good point, actually, beware the bird. I didn't even think about yeah. that. But yeah, it, 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 that is a great it, point. It, it made me very paranoid about this stupid bird that's I, I can't right believe you didn't avoid light. Like, avoid light at all costs from now on. Yeah, dude, it's a... Uh, I, I, that's a good, relatable topic right there. Like, yeah, like... Just, like I can easily see that bird turning into something. Man, that stupid uh, helmeted enemy there gave me some fits. But Blind Thief really didn't help us. That was in our escort mission. That's Whereas very the, true. the rooster is actually helping us. He's actually, yeah, he's coming handy for us. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's just leading us into a That's trap. That's a heck of a jump in his head right there. It doesn't happen often. No. <laughs> Normally I would have ended up in that hole about four times. And man, I just love like, this little like corner area. Like I just like being like in this like the corners of the map. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Like just there's nowhere else you can really go. It's like you know it's hard to get there, yeah. and you finally got there. That's yeah, like you like I kind of mentioned earlier, like it feels like you're at the end of the world. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it really does. And it in really the video does. game sense, you really are. Yeah, I mean, you're uh -huh. at the edge of the game world. Uh -huh. It's just, and like I said, once we get to the top here and you get that view behind oh, you, it's awesome. It's, it's a great little This is my picture. favorite area in the game, and just like finally make it to like, because Red had played this game a lot. I didn't play it till about, it was about a year ago or so. Yeah. And like all you ever talked about was Eagle's Tower. Oh, Eagle's Tower, Eagle's Tower. Love that dungeon. And then I finally got here, and before I even went in there, what I view. just knew it was going to be awesome. And yeah, just, I mean, walking out here, just incredible view. And it looks like, no, I mean, almost, <clears> there's not a lot to it. It's a simple little place. Well, most here. of the dungeons have just been like a door. Yeah. A simple door you walk in, and you get here, and you're like, like wow, this place it's gonna it's tall, it's huge. Yep. It's doing a little spinny move right here. This place is gonna be awesome. Which is a pretty cool little cinematic here to get into the dungeon. And now that we're heading in, this wraps up part twenty seven.